Well, good evening. It's Wednesday night, and that means it is time for our batteries to be charged here at Ormsby Heights Baptist Church. So good to have you with us this evening, praying that God will use this service in a powerful way in all of our lives as we are gathering for worship of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's so good to be together tonight. I want us to start with prayer, um, and as we're praying tonight, um, I want us to be in prayer uh, specifically for one another. We need to be praying for one another during these times. Um, pray for our church family. Pray for us as we are getting ready to launch into phase two of our regathering process. Uh, so be in prayer for that as we're taking up more activities, doing more things together, and as our church is growing more and more back to normal, or what we might call our new normal, pray that God will protect us, that God will give us wisdom, and that we'll be cautious and love one another through this time. Also, let's pray for our community. Our community uh, needs a touch from God. Uh, that's why uh, this is not a time for us to lay back. This is a time for us to go full steam ahead. Uh, this is why we need to be reaching people, loving people, and caring for people as we teach and preach and make disciples here in our church. So um, let's pray for our community as well tonight. I know that there are a lot of individual needs uh, that we're facing right now. Uh, I, I want to invite you to go to capital O, capital H, prayer, uh, use that password on our website, and that will open up a prayer list that is literally updated daily. So you'll be able to see there the people in our church that need prayer. You're going to be able to check out the needs and way we can pray specifically for folks who have individual needs and requests. So let's pray together before we jump into the Word of God together. Heavenly Father, we come together this evening uh, bringing great praise and glory um, to the name of your Son, Jesus. Lord, tonight as we gather, we recognize that we're a needy people. We recognize that because your Word teaches us that apart from your Son, we can do nothing. And so, Lord, we come... Uh, very needy. And Lord, sometimes uh, the needs we see in our lives um, seem too great to come to you with. But nothing's too great for you, Lord. Everything that's over our heads is still under your feet. So we rejoice to bring our great needs to you. And Lord, sometimes the needs that we have uh, seem so minuscule that Father it seems that, that you wouldn't care uh, about those kinds of things. But Lord, we're reminded tonight that your word teaches us that we're to cast all of our cares upon you because you care so much for us. So Lord, any care of ours is a care of yours. And we thank you for that. And we lift these small and large requests up to you. But we also pray for our church family as we're continuing to march toward uh, a new normal. As we continue to march through these days of this pandemic, uh, days of all kinds of other upheavals in our world, Lord, you know uh, what we need and you know the protection that we need. You know, Lord, the uh, provision that we need. And so, Lord, we just want to trust you tonight to be the God who cares for us through all the needs we have as a church family. And, Lord, we know that we need to be the church because there's a world around us that needs Jesus. And so, Lord, we want to start tonight just by praying for um, Louisville. Lord, we lift up this city to you tonight and we ask you to come and move in power here and Lord um, our hearts um, are called to go into the nations and proclaim the gospel to every people every language every group and every tongue 
So Lord, as we think about the thousands and thousands, really Lord, the millions across the world tonight who don't even know that they don't know you, our hearts are broken. We thank you for our missionaries who are reaching out to them. Um, we pray your protection and your guidance, and we pray your empowerment over their lives. Um, but Lord, we, we pray as well for the hundreds of people groups that are not even being reached. Lord, please move in the life of those groups. Move on their behalf. Raise up families, couples, individuals who will give everything to take the gospel to them. Lord, this is our prayer. In the name of Jesus, we pray it tonight. Amen. Amen. Well, um, as we come together this evening, uh, we are going to by God's grace, uh, finish our study in uh, the Baptist Faith and Message as it's revised in 2000. We're going to be finishing our um, study in the uh, uh, doctrines of what we believe um, with the last article of the uh, Baptist Faith and Message, and that is the Article uh, 18, that is the article on the family. So we're going to be talking tonight about the family. And we're going to be talking about how God has sovereignly ordained that families would be put together and that they would run together in accordance with who He is, in accordance with who we are, and in accordance with His Word. So um, we're going to do that by looking over this uh, text tonight. Now, a lot of what we are going to be looking at this evening is going to fall out of Ephesians chapter 5. Um, here in Ephesians 5 and 6, we see instructions given to uh, husbands, to wives, to parents, and to children. And um, what I want you to see is that all of these individuals are created in the image of God. All of them are equal before God. There is no variation between the uh, different places that we fulfill in the family. We are people created in God's image. However, there are differentiations in the roles that we fulfill. Um, a husband has a different role in a family than a wife does, and a wife has a different role than a husband does. Children have a different role than parents do, and parents certainly have a different role than children do. And so I hope that we can kind of work through this. And I want you to know that um, there is... So much, um, there's so much, um, uh, so much in our culture that is outside the parameters of God's Word. There's so many beliefs out there that are so radically far away from what the Bible teaches. And unfortunately, tonight, we're, we're going to have to talk about some of those things as well. And I want you to know as your pastor, I take no joy in talking about these things. Uh, but as your pastor, I must speak the truth. I must teach you the truth. I'm called of God and I'm held accountable to God for holding up His Word. And so even though the culture is saying something very opposite of what this book is saying, I will not back off the truths of this book. So there's going to be things that I'm going to say tonight that the culture would never say. 
And indeed, the culture would condemn me for saying it. But so be it, because our commitment is to the Word of God. No institution in the world is attacked more than the home. It's amazing when I say that, but it is a truth that needs to be received tonight by all of us. There is no institution in the world that is more attacked than the family. Satan has aimed his fiery darts at the home and is not relinquishing his attacks. The home is being attacked from virtually every conceivable angle. And you might ask the question, why, Pastor? Why is the home so uh, a target of the enemy, Satan? I want to tell you why. Because the home is the institution on which all the rest of culture is built upon. In other words, it is the very foundation of human living. And the enemy knows if he can destroy the foundation, if he can destroy the home, that the churches will fall with it, that the governments will fall with it, that the peoples will fall with it. And so what we're talking about is extremely important. That is why in 1998, our Southern Baptist Convention felt that it was appropriate and needed for Baptists to speak out on the nature of the family in Scripture and in the church. That's right. This was not an original part of the Baptist faith and message when it was created in 1925 or when it was updated in 1963. This was something that came along in 1998 and was included then in the 2000 edition of the updated uh, Baptist faith and message. Now, when we uh, did this, um, it, you would have thought that the Southern Baptist Convention was the most anti-family, bigoted group of people in the world. I mean, when, when this statement came out of what we believe about the family, uh, news reports, editorials, so-called family advocates, even church folks were coming out of the woodwork defaming the name of all Baptists and bemoaning the statement that we're going to study tonight. <laughs> but the plain fact of the matter is that this statement that we're going to be studying tonight doesn't say anything that this book does not say. In fact, <laughs> the language of the statement is the language of the Bible. So I've come to a place when I hear the defaming words of these folks who are opposed to these things, they must be opposed to them either one, because they're ignorant of what the Bible says, or two, because they don't like what the Bible's teaching. Now, you know what the Bible says. Remember the prophet of old. Remember Isaiah's words. Remember what he said. He said, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Folks, this is exactly what our culture is doing today. They're taking things that are evil and they're calling them good. And they're taking things that are good and calling them evil. This is our world today, and we cannot walk in that fashion. We must hold up the teachings of Scripture so that we can have families that reflect the glory of God. So this evening, I want to talk to you about the family from the perspective of the Bible and from this article and the perspective that the roles that is laid out for the individual members of the family. You'll notice that our statement begins, uh, if you have the notes, it's on the back page of the notes. I just put the entire statement on the second page of the notes for tonight. But you'll notice that it begins by saying God has ordained the family 
as, founda as the foundational institution for human society. It's composed of persons related to one another by marriage, blood, or adoption. Notice that our statement says here, God didn't ordain the government first. He did not ordain the church first. He ordained the family first in the three God-given institutions that are ordained in the Scripture. The family is foundational. So everything we're going to be talking about tonight, be it through the husband, be it to the wife, be it to parents, be it to children, be whoever it might be, these are foundational things that we need to enact in our lives. First, I want us to talk about the role of marriage in the home. The role of marriage in the home. Our statement says, marriage is the uniting of one man and one woman in covenant commitment for a lifetime. It is God's unique gift to reveal the union between Christ and His church and to provide for the man and the woman in marriage the framework for intimate companionship, the channel for sexual expression according to biblical standards, and the means for procreation of the human race. So one thing that we notice right from the beginning in this statement is that the Bible defines marriage as the, the union of one man and one woman. So here at the very beginning, we have to state something that needs to be said. There is no acceptance of homosexuality in Scripture. There's absolutely no acceptance of homosexuality in Scripture. The Bible says... In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God has ordained in Scripture that a man and a woman are to be joined together. And everything else outside of those boundaries is sin in the eyes of Scripture. It doesn't matter if it is an adulterous relationship where a husband looks to another woman, that's sin. Or where a woman looks to another man, that's sin. It doesn't matter if it's a homosexual union where a man is going to be with another man or a woman is going to be with another woman. All of that is sin. Anything outside of a man and a woman coming together in a lifetime covenant commitment with one another is sin in Scripture. Now, there are countless Scriptures in both the Old and New Testament that forbid homosexuality. And I want to say that in both the Old and the New Testament. Sometimes people will say, well, that's something that the Old Testament looks down on. But you won't find Jesus or anyone like that saying anything about that in the New Testament. And that's just absolutely false. First of all, the Bible is the Word of God. All of the Bible is the Word of God. The Old Testament never contradicts the New Testament, and the New Testament never contradicts the Old Testament. What they say, they say in union with one another. So the same thing that's being taught about homosexuality in the Old Testament is the same thing that's being said about homosexuality in the New Testament. So it is not an alternative lifestyle. That's what many people will tell you. Well, that's just another way of living. That's just how God made some people. Brothers and sisters, people are not made by God to be homosexual. Now, I want to say this, and I, I want to say this with clarity. God does not create people to be homosexuals. But I do want to say this. I do believe that sin taints every part of us. I do believe that sin, uh, our sin nature, can even taint who we are chemically inside of us. It can taint us in a way that 
someone may have same-sex attraction. Now, God didn't create that, though. That is a result of fallenness within somebody, that they would be created in such a way that their chemical makeup would make them more susceptible to a, an attraction to someone of the same sex. It's still sin, though, for them to carry that out. It's still sin. Um, you, 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 you cannot uh, practice homosexuality and not see it as sin. Even if your chemical makeup uh, that's been uh, made out of whack because of the influence and the fell, falling of sin in people's lives, even if your chemical makeup teaches you that that's something you desire, well, listen, there's an awful lot of things that we desire in life, but not all of our desires are desires that God would have us to pursue. We have to remember that. So it's not an alternative lifestyle. We're not born this way. It is a sin. It is an abomination in the sight of God. And we need to love the sinner. We need to love the person who shares that they are a homosexual. It is a sin, but it's a sin that can be forgiven. So don't hear me saying um, homosexuals are not welcome at Ormsby Heights Baptist Church. They are most welcome here. We would love to have them come and worship with us. We would love to have them come and hear this message of Scripture. We would love to have that happen. Why? Uh, because... They can change. You see, they're living in the bondage of sin, just like many other people live in the bondage of sins in other ways. This is the bondage that they're living in, and they can change. Now, some of you may be watching this, and you have a family member, a child, or a good friend who, who lives in this kind of lifestyle, and you say, Pastor, I'm telling you, they cannot change, and I'm telling you, they can power of the gospel can change even this perception, even this reality. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 says so. Uh, or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Now, I want you to see this. The, the Bible saying here, um, uh, go back to this previous slide, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, adulterers, sexually immoral, men who practice homosexuality, it says here, uh, thieves, greedy, drunkards, revilers, swindlers, they will not inherit they will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, it's important that I say that because I think that sometimes people will see this scripture and say, man, that's a, such a, a, a damning word from God. And, and it really is. Now, what is this saying? Is, is it saying that if you are ever sexually immoral, you, you, you can't be saved? If you ever bow down to an idol, you can't be saved? If you ever commit adultery, you can't be saved. If you ever practice homosexuality or thieves or if you're greedy or drunk. No. What this is saying is uh, something different than that. Because if it's saying that, then I doubt there's a person in the world that could ever be saved. You hear me? Because everyone commits these kinds of sins. So what's the Bible saying here? It's saying if your life is characterized by these sins. If your life is characterized by your idolatry, if your life is characterized by your greed, characterized by adultery or uh, homosexuality or a uh, drunkard or a reviler or swindler, um, you cannot be saved. In other words, you, you cannot live the life of this world, 
You cannot live in accordance with the flesh and still be a Christian. And here's the glorious thing about the gospel, though. And such were some of you. You know how glorious that is? The Bible's saying, here these people were, they were characterized in Corinth by these sins. They were characterized by their idolatry, their immorality, their adultery, their homosexuality, their thievery, their greed, their, their drunkenness, their reviling, their, their swindling. They were known by these things. And yet, the Bible says, such were some of you. But, next verse, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. That means the gospel is glorious because it changes sinners. So I want to just say um, homosexuality is wrong. It is sin. I don't think we need to say anything else, but God is gracious. God can redeem anybody. That is my heart's conviction tonight. I've seen it happen. Um, second thing that we need to say about marriage tonight is that marriage is to be a picture of the union of Christ and His church. So, God's glory is to be seen in the marriage relationship between the husband and the wife. Uh, so Ephesians 5 says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one. And Paul says, This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. So marriage is to be a picture of the bridegroom, that is the Lord Jesus, and the bride, that is his church. And so as a husband and wife come together and they grow together in the gospel and they grow together in a union with one another, it is to show a glorious picture, a glorious picture of the gospel and how the gospel works between Christ, who is the head of the church, and the body of the Christ, the body of the church, the bride of Christ, the church itself. So marriage... Uh, brings this about, and, and, and marriage also provides uh, these other things. Our, our statement says it, intimate companionship, the, the channel for sexual expression. L let me just say this, uh, because you know there's just so many, few instances it seems like in Scripture where I get to say this, so I want to say it anytime I can. Sex is not bad. Sex is not sinful. Sex is really, really a gift from God, and it's really, really a good thing that God has given us in the parameters of the marriage union between a husband and a wife. It is the channel for sexual expression, um, and it's a mean for procreation. That is, that's how little boys and little girls come into this world when a husband and a wife come together as one person, and they have these little bitty balls of joy that grow up to be men and women who will continue to prolong the human race. So that is the role of marriage in the home. Um, let's look secondly at the role of the husband in the home. The role of the husband. And this is good because we just had Father's Day. I'm trying my very best to challenge our fathers on Father's Day. And uh, again, we're being challenged here. The statement says, A husband is to love his wife as Christ loved the church. Wow. He has a God-given responsibility to provide for, protect, and lead his family. There is no higher expectations on anybody in the home than the expectations that God has placed upon the man, upon the husband. When our statement says the husband is to love his wife as Christ loved the church, how did Christ love the church? He loved her with a sacrificial life. He laid his life down. He died for the church. So there's no greater responsibility in the home than the responsibility that men, that husbands have to their wife and to their children. So husbands are called to, by God to be 
one, providers. The husband as a provider. Uh, 1 Timothy 5, 8 says, But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for the members of his household, he is denied the faith, and is worse than an unbeliever. That is to say, men, God has called you to do something with your life. Now, there are people who are physically unable to do things. I understand that. There are people who go through times where uh, their bodies will not allow them to make provision as they used to. But I'm also saying this, men, there is no room for laziness in our lives. If we can work, we should work. There is no form of bad work. I, I'm amazed when I go up and down Dixie Highway, driving up and down Dixie Highway, uh, that's what I do now, just drive up and down Dixie Highway a lot, and it, I'm constantly amazed by all the places that are saying, we're hiring. We're hiring. We want people to work. That's a good thing. And if you don't have a job, go somewhere that's hiring and get a job. Because God is glorified in you being a provider for your family. Um, we're also called men to be protectors. Um, Ephesians 5, in the same way husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. In other words, there is a sense of protection that we are to give our families. There should be a, a, a sense in which our families are at ease because we are there. We are protecting. We are giving protection to our wife. We are giving protection to our children. That there's a sense that they know everything's going to be okay because my dad has got my back. My dad is here for me. Or my husband is here for me. Everything's going to be okay because he is my protector. He is my provider. Also, God calls men to be leaders. Uh, so Ephesians 5.23, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now, I want to say this because I'm going to have to say it again when we get to the wives section. There's a sense in which we are the head of the home. But men, don't hear this as Pastor Chad saying that we should go back to times where cavemen drug their wives around by the hair of their head and uh, beat and instructed and these kinds of things. That is not a picture of Christ. That is not a picture of the home. That is not a, uh, an idea of what we are talking about when we're talking about the relationship that the husband and the wife have together. You two have become one flesh. Now, it's true that the husband is to be the uh, leader in the home. It's true that the husband is to be the one stepping out and leading. But you do not do that apart from your wife. You, you love her as you lead her. You look to her as you lead her. You come to her and you find uh, common ground together as you lead her. Um, I want to just share, share a little bit about how this works in our house with me and Jennifer because I feel like uh, there's so much false teaching about this that it, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. But when, when Jennifer and I are working through things as a couple, um, we literally work through them together. Now, um, there are times... Most of the time, I would say, we just sort of come together and we make decisions, and those decisions are just okay. Yeah, that makes sense to you. It makes sense to me. It lines up with Scripture. This is where we need to go as a family. This is what we need to do. But there are also times where, um, you know, it's not as clear. Um, we're sort of... Uh, 
uh, we don't know. And in those times, it falls on me as the head of our home to say, to pr after prayer, after seeking the Lord, after talking to my wife, it falls to me to say, this is the direction we're going to take. And that's leadership. That's what leadership looks like. And, uh, and Jennifer is like, okay, I'm with you, and that's what we'll do. And sometimes that's what has to happen in the life of a family. But men, we have got to be like a shepherd over our homes. That's the function that we have. We are providing for our homes, we are protecting our homes, and we're leading our homes into a time and a place of flourishing. We want our wife to flourish. We want our children to flourish. And we are called by God to create an atmosphere by which that can happen. Okay. Now, let's talk about the role of the wife in the home. The role of the wife in the home. This is number three. Now, before we get into this role, let's look at what the Bible says again in Genesis 1.27. Um, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So you see here in this verse, both men and women have an equal standing before God and are valued the same in the sight of God. As our article says, the husband and wife are of equal worth before God since both are created in God's image. But... As God, uh, even though uh, God has created us equally in His sight, He's also called us to glorify Him by fulfilling our specific roles in the home. And so the Bible says to wives in Ephesians 5.22, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, His body and is himself its Savior. Um, so what I want you to see tonight is that there are differing roles. And uh, boy, I know a lot of ladies who really struggle with that word submit. But if your home is led by a man who loves God and who is driven by passion for Jesus Christ and who loves you, as Christ loved the church with a sacrificial love, I have never met a woman, never in my life have I met a woman who didn't want to follow the leadership of that man. Never in my life have I met somebody that didn't want to follow the leadership of that man. I love what um, a study book on this uh, article said about this. I want to just quote what it says. The biblical concept of submission does not mean that the wife has no influence in family decision making or that her contribution is deprecated or denied. On the contrary, the biblical idea of submission points to the wife's role in glorifying God by honoring the role God has assigned to the husband. The husband is to devote himself to his wife and family and exercise his responsibility to lead, not on the basis of dictatorial power, but on the basis of spiritual authority as demonstrated in his faithfulness to Christ. The husband is obligated to give himself in sacrificial service to his wife and family. In other words, as I said before, I've never met a woman who minded submitting to a man who lived and loved his wife and family as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Number four, the role of parents in the home. Uh, our statement says here, uh, children from the moment of conception, uh, that's an important word, are a blessing and heritage from the Lord. Parents are to demonstrate to their children God's parent pattern for marriage. Parents are to teach their children spiritual and moral values to lead them through uh, consistent lifestyle examples and loving discipline to make 
choices based on biblical truth. So obviously our statement says, from the moment of conception, again, our Baptist faith and message goes back to the reality that honors the sanctity of all human life. And when a, uh, a baby is conceived, the very moment that that child is conceived in the womb, that child is a human life. And that's where life begins, at the moment of conception. Now, as we talk about being parents, um, we, we need to talk about loving our kids. And, and here's what I've always thought. The best way that I can love my kids is to love their mama well. Um, that is to say, I am teaching my kids more about life by showing them and being an example to them of how to love their mom than anything else that I do in our home. Um, the best way I can love my kids is to love their mama. Guiding them to Christ um, is important because it reminds us that parenting is evangelism. And if you haven't picked up on this yet, you need to. Um, don't give the task of leading your child to saving faith to me or to Michelle or to Brent or David or someone here in our staff or a Sunday school teacher here at church. The role of leading and guiding your child to Christ is your role. That's your responsibility. And you need to be the chief uh, evangelist in their life. You need to be pointing them to Jesus in every way you possibly can. Also, parenting is not just evangelism. Parenting is discipleship as well. That, that is to say, um, if a child of yours has come to saving faith in Jesus Christ, it's now your responsibility not just to leave them, okay, they're saved, that's good. No, now, your role as a parent is to disciple them, to show them the path to Christ's likeness, to show them what it means to follow Jesus Christ. And, and, and how do you do that? You do it by living that. Now, I said this Sunday, and I'm going to say it again tonight. Good parenting is as much caught as it is taught. That is to say, your kids are going to learn a lot more from you by the way you live than the words that you say. The words that you say are awful cheap if they don't see you living and backing up those words with your life. So God has called us to be patterning a biblical worldview for our children. And, and let me just say this. This is what I love about being a dad. I love this. Because I love spending time with my kids in the world. I love sticking my feet in the world, waters of this world with my kids. I, I love um, letting them see the things that this world believes. And then talking to them about that. And showing them how that is out of kilter with scripture. I've done that so much that now we will watch a TV show or we will listen to a song and my kids will do it to me now. They'll say, well, Dad, that is obviously not what the Bible teaches. And I just kind of look back at them and I say, yeah, you're right. That's, that is not what the Bible teaches. That's become such a pattern in our home that their eyes look at things not through the world's lenses but through scriptural lenses. And that's the hope for all of us, that we would take up that role. So the role of parents in the home, the role of children in the home. Um, it simply says here in our statement that children are to honor and obey their parents. Now, I want to say this as I close tonight, just talking about this. Um, um, you never cease being a child. <laughs> As long as your parents are living in this world, they are still your parents. Now, how you honor 
your parents, um, changes as life goes on. Um, for, for me, when I was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-